React OS is a really interesting free and open source operating system that intends to be binary compatible with software and drivers written for Windows. And although it's been around for nearly 30 years at this point, today I'm installing it for the first time. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy interesting operating systems, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. The React OS project has a long and storied history, reaching all the way back to the late 90s. And in many ways, it's sort of the Windows equivalent of my all-time favorite alternative operating system, Haiku. If you've been around the channel for a while, you've probably seen me install the BOS-inspired Haiku operating system on all sorts of old, obsolete, low-spec e-waste. E-waste connoisseur shirt available at shop.actionretro.com. The original mission of Haiku was to make a free operating system that was binary compatible with applications written for the proprietary BOS. React OS was meant to be a free OS that was binary compatible with Windows software. Both OSs have been around for decades and both are still perpetually in pre-release status. And both can run on hardware with ridiculously low specs. And to that end, many of you have requested a video installing React OS over the years, so today, I've brought out a computer that I hope is compatible. This absolute gem of an IBM NetVista with a Pentium 4, which I think is about the sweet spot for React OS, which can actually be a bit finicky. So let's go grab the latest nightly installer, burn it to a CD, and see what React OS is all about. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, delete me. Today's internet is a weird place. Everything you do and say online is analyzed, cataloged, chopped up, and sold on the open market of data brokers. And it's not just shady advertisers who are buying up this data. Your private information can wind up in the hands of scammers, fraudsters, phishing schemes, and worse. Oh look, another political text. This is exactly the kind of thing that Delete Me can help to address. I've been using Delete Me for well over a year now, and they help me control my personal information in ways that I was never able to accomplish doing it manually. They constantly scour the internet for my info and report back to me exactly which data brokers and websites have it. And then, well, they delete me. There's even a privacy advisor that I can reach out to at any time. Just look at my listings removed over time. A big spike in the beginning where they removed the huge amount of data that was just floating out there on me. And then a consistent removal of all the data that keeps popping back up. Get 20% off Delete Me consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com slash action retro and use promo code action retro. That's joindeleteme.com slash action retro code action retro. So we're going to go to React OS, but we're going to grab the nightly builds instead of this 0.4.15. Even though that's the latest stable release, it's pretty outdated. Nightly builds are going to have all the latest drivers and everything. So we're going to choose not a debug release. We're going to take this boot CD here. And today is August 19th. This is today's nightly release. I have these awesome vinyl record CDs I found that Goodwill. All right, is there even a hard drive in this thing? I love the way this comes apart. Ooh, there is not. You know what that means. It's time for the wheel of SSDs. Ooh, Kingston. All right, we have scored ourselves a lovely metal 240 gigabyte Kingston SSD. I have no idea what's actually installed on this already, if anything. So perhaps we'll give it a quick boot and see if it tries to load anything. Oh, I love this Samsung LCD. And we'll be using the stupidest keyboard I own, an Alltech Lansing keyboard with built-in speakers and microphone, which has PS2 along with microphone, sound, and power inputs. All right, let's see here. This keyboard wants five volts. Okay. Got the old universal belker. Set this to five. All right, out of curiosity, let's see if there's anything already installed on this hard drive. But look at that beautiful IBM splash screen. Oh, this is MX Linux on it still. I think this hard drive was in this machine already when we tried to use Zoom 
Anyway, let's install React OS. Ooh, press any key to boot from the React OS medium. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, React OS setup. Looking and feeling a lot like an old Windows setup. Use English, enter to install. Yeah, enter. Create a primary partition here. Oh, here we go. Format as fat file system or BTRFS, ButterFS. I'm gonna choose ButterFS. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues when we try to install Windows software. Well, unfortunately, this has been sitting at 0% for like 20 minutes, and uh, I'm pretty sure the computer has frozen. Well, the old IBM has decided to give up the ghost and now will no longer progress past the IBM splash screen. So I guess it's time to go to plan D. D stands for Dell. This Dell Dimension 2400 is a pretty similar spec to the NetVista, it's a Pentium 4. Let's see if this will survive long enough to play with React OS. All right, can always count on Dell. I am action of the retro organization. This will be React Dell, a strong and secure password. That's definitely not just the word action. All right, we have some themes to choose from, but, uh, should there be like a preview or something? Oh no! Oh no, we blue screened. We flew too close to the sun trying to choose a theme. All right, let's see if our install has borked itself. Okay, we just have to redo setup. All right, we'll keep this theme. Typical settings. And we need wine gecko package, okay. Failed to download. Well, I have no idea if the internet works on here. I did plug it into ethernet. Give me that. All right, let's see if we boot back up into React OS without a blue screen. Ooh, audio works through these goofy speakers. Awesome. Well, but here we are, we are in a React OS install. Can we change the desktop settings? We cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so the React Wiki says we can use the snappy driver installer tool, the offline version. So I've got all 48 gigabytes of that on this USB stick. We will open SDIR2503.exe. No! The memory could not be red. Ah, of course, blue screen. All right, React OS, I've got plenty more Windows XP machines where these came from. And we have ourselves a Dell Inspiron 1150. Oh yeah, good news, look at this. Install was successful and apparently everything works, even audio. Except, no trackpad, so I guess we're going with cheap USB mounts. So we will not choose any of these installs. We will instead try our driver installer on here. Does this work? There's our USB drive. Let's try to run this installer. Ah, oh, it's the same error. Memory could not be Red, what does that mean? All right, this may not be fully working, but it is somewhat working. Let's see if we can just install random Windows software on it. Starting with the Kmart Blue Light software intended for Windows 98. Oh yeah, there's the Kmart CD. Can we just install it? <laughs> yes. Let's get our Kmart branded, totally free internet service. That's yeah, a little weird. Yep, I accept the terms, I sure do. Yahoo Messenger, why not? Well, that's promising. Holy crap, it installed. It works. 
I mean, the service is totally dead, so it's not like we can actually create a new user. But we installed Windows 98 software on here. <laughs> We're now downloading the latest access numbers. Somehow, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, there's something in that Kmart install that says 0.mpeg. Can we play it? React OS multimedia player, all right. Nope. Here is my compact systems reference library CD. I have no idea what's on here. All right, bunch of PDF files. Any EXEs? Oh, here we go, online CD.exe. Wow, 16 applications are not supported. Try installing Wine VDM from the Applications Manager. Uh, okay. I'm sure this won't work if we're not online. Nope. Uh, we need to be online for that to work. I mean, I guess this doesn't work. Eject. Oh yeah, soft eject works. Look at that. All right, dare we try some settings changes. Here we go. Visual style, we've got five themes. Let's see, Lotus. Interesting. Lunar. Mizu. And Modern. Let's see, Lotus looked interesting. Now let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's going crazy. But it appears to be working. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> I like that. That looks pretty cool. I think our color depth leaves something to be desired. 800 by 600 is 256 colors. And that's all we got. You know, I'm a purist. I think we're going to stick with the classic because that looks just fine in 256 colors. Well, we got to try the old Duke Nukem. Install.exe. Uh, is it doing anything? <laughs> it shows me the text as it closes. All right, I'm just gonna hit enter a whole bunch of times. Maybe that's installing now. Now, yeah, look, here's our Duke 3D folder. Did it work? All right, here's a bunch of stuff from the old Hot Wheels PC. I don't actually know what's on here. Yeah, a bunch of drivers. Oh yeah, but look at that sweet background. Oh, let's use that as our background. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Now that is a cool React OS. So I think what I'd like to do at some point is a React OS specific build using components that are more or less known to be compatible with React OS to try to get a really clean React OS experience. I wonder if this battery still works. Nope. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments down below because I really want to explore React OS more and try to really install old Windows software on it. But I'm going to call this video here. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching. And thanks again to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.